involved in our in our ministry. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. Thank you so much. It's good to see you come in. Hey, I think there's one more. I'm, this is not going to be really a whole lot churchy involved in it, but uh, I, I think that our, some of our hunters is really going to be, I, I, know, I know Randy Jones is going to be really envious of this, Brother Randy, but uh, our Zach, our Zach Millsap, he got a trophy last evening late. Zach, I heard, was it an eight point? All right. <laughs> And I heard that there's going to be, he was, big, she, he was big enough, you're going to get a whole lot of hamburger meat out of him. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. That's awesome. God bless you guys. Appreciate you so very, very much. Amen. All right. Well, I'm going, I'm going to hush visit him. Just want to share some of these things with you. And God bless you for being here this morning. Amen. Good to have my brother here. Amen. He and Von Sill, my sister-in-law. God bless you guys for being here. Amen. I, I think everybody else is kind of regular folks that's uh, here for as I, far as I know, amen. God bless you, amen. Appreciate you being here. I, w I would like to do one more thing, one more thing. <laughs> when you're as old as I am, you get to do things like this, all right. <laughs> but I, I, want, I really want to do one thing that uh, on the behalf of uh, Brother Eddie, Brother Eddie Rogers, uh, of the service that we had yesterday on the behalf of his son, and uh, thought things went well, and we appreciate so much for all the compliments and the support there for Brother Eddie and for the family that was here, good representations of his family that was here, and for you that came to support Brother Eddie. But I'm going to ask uh, Brother, Brother Eddie if he would like to, to stand and give a recognition to you. He wants to speak to you, the church, and thank you. So Brother Eddie, stand and go ahead and do that, my brother. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Brother Eddie said it was so good they spread it their borders. <laughs> Amen. They were larger when they left and when they got here. Amen. Oh, God bless you. Thank you, Brother Eddie. Appreciate that very much. We love you guys. God bless you, sister, you and Sister Linda. Amen. Amen. All right, are you ready? Let's stand together, shall we? Stand together. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Invite His presence collectively. Ask God to minister this morning in our service and have His way. Would you pray in your own way? Father God, we love you this morning. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your presence that we know that is here in this room. We know that is in and through you. We live, we move, and we have our being. We pray that God this morning, that heaven would just come down. Your glory would just fill hearts and souls. And at the same time, Lord, that we will lift you up, Lord. That you will be exalted and glorified. That you will be praised because you are worthy of all praise and glory that can be given unto you. We love you. We thank you. And we give you the thanks for the precious blood that makes it all possible in your holy name, your name, Jesus. And all of God's children said, Amen. Amen, amen. Let your neighbor know you're glad to see them. You're glad you're here. God bless you. Let's worship. Let's have church. Sister Diane, lead us, would you? God bless you this morning. Amen. Now step into the water and wet out a little bit deeper. Now wet your feet in the waters of his love. Oh, step into the water and wet out a little bit deeper and come to an angel singing praises to the Lamb of God. Now step into the water and wet out a little bit deeper wet your feet in the waters of His love. Oh, step into the water and wet out a little bit deeper come to an angel singing praises to the Lamb of The Bible is my weapon, and the Spirit is my shield. The church needs more of its members to be workers in the field. So step into the water, wet out a little bit deeper. Wet your feet in the waters of His love. Oh, step into the water, wet out a little bit deeper. Been a prize appointed for the soul of God. 
flesh with him forever live eternally now step into the water wait out a little bit deeper wet your feet in the waters of this world oh, step into the water wait out a little bit deeper come join angels singing praises to the Lamb of God now step into the water and wait out a little bit deeper wet your feet in the waters of this When the roll is called up yonder. Oh, yes. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and that morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. When the saint of earth shall gather over on the other shore. Yonder I'll be there Oh, when the roll is called up yonder 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 I'll be there On that bright and cloudless morning When the dead in Christ shall rise Page 120, Victory in Jesus. Amen. Oh, yes. I heard an old, old story of how my Savior 
Savior came from glory, and how he gave his life on Calvary. Oh, to save a wretch like me, I'd heard about his glory, of his precious blood's atoning. Then I repented of my sin and won that victory. Oh, it's victory in Jesus, oh, my Savior.
Amen. Y'all just keep standing there. We're going to go right into another good one. I never shall forget the day. Amen. When God rolled my sins away. Amen. One thirty. Long years ago, when I didn't sin, well, I had no hope, no peace within, down on my knees, in agony. I prayed to Jesus, and he gladly set me free. I never shall forget the day. And shouted for he's everything to me. Now I can feel him by my side. Oh, my feeble steps, he comes to God when trials come. He comforts me through faith in him or sin. I have a victory. I never shall forget the day. When all the burdens of my soul just rolled away It made me happy, glad and free I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me Oh, sinner, come to Jesus now At his dear feet, just humbly bow Confess to him your ever sin and he'll save you, cleanse you, give you peace and joy in him. I never shall forget the day. Oh, thank you, Lord. The burdens of my soul roll away. It made me happy, glad, and free. I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me. Oh, sinner, come. Oh, sinner, come. To Jesus now, to Jesus now. Oh, at his defeat, at his defeat. Oh, humbly bow. Oh, yes, your every sin. And he'll save you, cleanse you, give you peace and joy within. I never shall forget the day. Oh, when those burdens of the soul just roll away, it made me happy, glad, and free. I'll sing and shout it for he's everything to me. Amen, amen. Well, give a good hand clap of praise. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I never shall forget the day. Amen, amen. Praise God. Well, praise God. I tell you what, if you don't feel that, it's like the old time preacher said, your wood's wet. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank God for his presence, and God bless you for yielding and allowing the Holy Spirit just to flow through you. You're the ones that make it happen. Hallelujah. I think his choir sounding pretty good. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you this morning. Amen. We want to give you an opportunity this morning to worship in our time of giving and worshiping unto the Lord. So if our ushers would take their places this morning, we want you to magnify the Lord together in giving and thank God for the opportunity that avails us. We can give. And this is worship. Can I hear a good amen? amen. Worship unto the Lord. And God bless you so much. I know I, I say it time and time again, but church, you are awesome in your giving so faithful in your giving. Thank you so very, very much. That's why the church is able to do and continue on as it is because you're faithful to giving unto the Lord. God bless you for doing it. Amen. I'm going to ask Brother Rhodes, Brother Rhodes, would you stand? Ask God blesses on the giving, please, sir. Amen. Yes, Jesus. Grant it. Yes, Lord. Amen. Everybody said amen. 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 God bless you. Give. Sister Lori's going to come. She's going to minister to us this morning. Bless you, Sister Lori. Amen. Thank you.
say that chains will never break But they don't know me like you do There is power in your name So much power in your name We heard that there is no way through we heard the tide will never change But they don't see you like we do There is power in your name So much power Break the unbreakable God we believe God we believe for it the impossible will see a miracle God we believe God we believe for it there is no way through and still Sister Lori, praise the Lord. Great song, great words. I'll tell you what, he is the miracle worker. We can call on him, and he is that presence and that present help, and thank the Lord that he is this morning. He is here in this room. Just think. Just think about it, church. 
the one that created all things good. He's here, this universe, this earth, and he made you and I. He's in this room this morning. In his presence, we want to go to the Lord in prayer. We want to ask him to touch and to minister into needs. We know he is our need supplier. Let me share a couple. I won't go through all of these. You have your your prayer list that is given to you in your bulletin, that's given to you each Sunday morning. And uh, I know you pray for these on a, on a daily basis. So let me mention a couple of just kind of a standout ones. I know we'll continue to keep Brother Ed in our prayers for the coming days, along with uh, Sister Sharon Allman, Sister Sharon, to keep you in our prayers as well, and uh, keeping your son David, believing God to touch you and minister unto him. We know God is the answer. If we call upon him, he's that presence, that present help. There's also the, uh, the young man uh, on behalf of uh, Brother Keith, whenever uh, one of his friends, his son, Connor, that uh, he's in his uh, early 20s, has leukemia, keeping him in our prayers. Also praying for Sister Alberta Thomas, uh, for her grandson that is under the age of 30. Ashton is his name, stage 4 cancer. Want to keep him in our prayers for God to touch and to minister. And I mentioned the, uh, the young 7-year-old girl that uh, has an inoperable brain tumor. So I uh, want to pray for her, that God would touch and minister unto her this morning as well. And I know that there are those that we've been praying for on a regular basis. That I know uh, Brother Earl's unable to be here. He and Sister Norvell that's been battling with that, uh, that virus some time ago with, uh, with their lungs become stronger and strengthen them. We know God is able to do so. But God has been answering and ministering into prayer. And we believe the Lord's going to continue. We want to keep our shut-ins in your prayers. Sister, Sister Anita Ward, Sister Frances uh, Cagle, keeping her in our prayers. Velma Davis, Sister Keaton, keeping all of these uh, in our prayers on a, uh, on a regular basis. Uh, we know that uh, we've been praying for uh, Brother Ronnie, Ronnie Owen, Sister Linda Stanford's uh, brother, that uh, they found more cancer there and the extensive surgery that he had. So we want to continue to keep uh, Ronnie in our prayers for God to minister. Scott Peters, for the difficulties he's having with his back, praying for him. So I want to mention uh, these to you this morning, that we would continue to pray for thee, along with the others that is on our prayer list as well. Others that are battling with cancer, we know God is the one that is in control. No matter how severe it may seem, God's the answer. And then at the close of our prayer this morning, then I'm going to ask that one of you guys, one might stand in as far as a volunteer. We're going to have special prayer for Brother Kenneth Medlock. Brother Kenneth, they carried him to the hospital last evening. They did admit him there in northwest Arkansas. Uh, he's at Washington uh, Regional Center uh, having trouble with his heart. And they're running tests on him this morning. So at the close of our prayer this morning, we're going to anoint someone that is standing in the gap for him. And we'll pray for Brother Ken, especially that we're going to get some good results today. How I many you know God is able? Amen. Amen. He is the answer this morning. Praying likewise, God's going to continue to minister to our missionaries at home and abroad. For, pray for his intercessions there. Praying to God to minister to our nation that God will intercede. We need God. Oh, we need him in a special way, with the way our nation is moving today. But as well, we know that uh, our, there are moms and dads and sons and daughters that need our prayers, that God's going to touch and draw. We need to see a great revival in hearts and souls more than ever before. Let's believe God for it, and we know the Lord is able to do so. Let's continue to believe in God as we're praying, believe in God, especially for all of our veterans that God's going to touch and uh, give them just a special blessing. This be a good week for each one of our veterans uh, that God's going to certainly give them a special, special blessings up over their lives for the sacrifice that they have given, for the sacrifice they have made. And that's why we're in this room this morning. We can still have the freedom and the liberty we have to worship as a church uh, and here in America. Thank God for our veterans to make it possible. How I many have made a special unspoken request, lost loved ones, 
all over the building. Believe in God to touch you and minister this morning. Sister Diane is going to lead us in a course. Prepare our hearts as we go before the throne of grace this morning. Thank you, Sister Diane. Jesus is worthy, the Lamb has overcome, holy, holy, hallelujah, Jesus is worthy, the Lamb has overcome, worship Him, hallelujah. Let's pray this morning, church. Pray in your own way. Father God, we look unto you this morning because we know you're the author, the finisher of our faith. And we look unto you because we know that you're the one that hears you answered prayer, Lord. Father, for each name, each name that is on our prayer list this morning, you know the severity of it. Lord, you know even maybe how minute it may be, but God, we know you hear and you answer prayer. God, we pray that you'll touch and minister this morning. Would you give this morning, Lord, those that are battling with the struggles and the difficulties, some are still, Lord, from the repercussions, Lord, of that, of that COVID-19, of that coronavirus, Lord. Father, we pray that you'd clear up their lungs and give them healing, healing in the power of your name. Those that are battling even now, Lord, Lord, we just rebuke that coronavirus in the power of your name, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray your blood covering, your blood protection up over each of these this morning that is in this room. Those by viewing by the way of live stream this morning, God. May your blood cover and blood protection be up over them, God, to protect them from this virus and from the things, Lord, that seem to be going about. We know the devil comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. But Lord, we're reminded this morning, we know you come to give us life in that more abundantly, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, we pray that you minister and you bless and intercede, Lord. God, to touch, Lord, in these young people, Lord, these two young men, Lord, that battle with the cancer, Lord, this young seven-year-old, God. Lord, we know you can do the miracle, oh God. Lord, let your healing virtues do your perfected work, God. And your copper, Father, in these, Lord, that have lost their young people, Lord, their children, God. Her brother Ed and Sister Sharon, God. Lord, that you touch and comfort and minister out of these families, Lord, because we know that you are the comforter. And you said, Blessed are those that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Lord, we yield them to you now. Lord, we pray for our nation this morning. This nation that needs you, you're the Almighty God. Lord, place your hand up over our nation one more time. Lord, we know there's so many that are straight away from the foundation that it was built upon. But God, we know that there's still the praying intercessory group of people called the church, God. Lord, intercede. Lord, move and bring conviction, God, up over the leaders, Lord, the leaders of this nation and the power of your name. Lord, we pray for conviction and for ministry for healing spiritually, even above all things, Lord. We pray for missionaries, Lord, for our missionaries at home and abroad. God, we pray your hand upon them, Lord, for the difficulties that may be encountered or have encountered. Give them a peace and a comfort. Lord, because we know that we're overcomers in and through you. Give them blessings and fruit for their labors this morning, Lord. Let them feel and know that, God, you are in control. You're still saving even to the uttermost this morning, Lord. Bless now moms and dads and sons and daughters, Lord. Give us, Father. Oh, give us souls, Lord. Father, we pray that the power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, will save in the name above all names in the cleansing of the blood up over these lives, God. 
In your name, Jesus, we pray it. You are God. You are God. You are God. You are God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Well, some of them would like to come and just stand this morning. We're going to ask our elders to come and those that even would like to. We're going to pray this morning. God's going to touch into Brother Kenneth this morning. He needs to get a good, good, good report this morning as they're going to get through those tests that he's going to be going through. Thank you, Lord. We know God. We know God is the answer this morning. Can I hear a good amen? Come on, Brother Rose. Why don't you stand right here for Brother, for brother Kenneth this morning? Hallelujah. Let's lay hands on him, guys. Let's believe God. Would you join with us, church? Let's pray for Brother Kenneth Medlock. Father God, we know that you're the answer this morning. Lord, we bring Brother Kenneth Medlock before you. He's your servant. He belongs to you. And Lord, we pray you touch his body right now. Lord, that you touch that vessel right now, the name above every name. Give him healing, Lord. We're believing for a good report this day, God, as those tests that he's going through even now. That the power of your spirit, the demonstration of your might, Lord, just give him a peace and a comfort, Lord. Relieve him of the pain of the discomfort, Lord, that he's experienced and he's going through because you are the great I am. You are the great physician. We believe your word is sent forth. Lord, you watch over your word by your spirit to confirm it. And we thank you for it this morning because we know you are the great, the great, great, great physician. And we thank you for it in Jesus' mighty name. In your name, Jesus, we love you for it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we praise you for it. Lord, we praise you for it. In Jesus' name, thank you, Jesus. Well, if you believe it's done, shout praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do it one more time. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now give him glory, worship him, worship him. praise and honor, for Jesus is worthy, the Lamb has overcome, oh yes he has, oh glory, holy,
Aren't you glad we are this morning? Amen. 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 You may be seated. Uh, hang on, choir. God bless you this morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. But uh, we want you to minister a bit. I know that uh, this is the first Sunday, and uh, this is Buddy Barrel Sunday. And I think, have we got Buddy Barrels and things back there, Brother Bill? Okay. And so we're going to give you opportunity to minister into our Buddy Barrel. So I don't know. Can y'all give us something for this Buddy Barrel? And uh, they're going to, uh, our kids are coming. And I, I want to make mention that uh, Sarah Walker, Sister Sarah, God bless you. Thank you. She's going to be ministering in our children's church. And uh, she's taken up that mantle. Yes. And so we say, God bless you yes. and thank you. Hallelujah. Can we get a good appreciation? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Sister Sarah. Appreciate it. So as the kids are going to be uh, coming around, digging your pockets, dig out your pocket chains again, like I said. Now, they'll take Franklins and Jacksons and Lincolns. Uh, they'll take Washingtons. They'll take all of them guys as well now, okay? But we're going to just give unto the Lord. This is our time for our, this going to our missionaries, for our children and their children's ministries and missions. God, bless in our giving now to our buddy barrels, for our children's missions and ministry to our missionaries. We give you praise. We give you thanks for it. In in your holy name, in your name, Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, Lord. kids. God bless you. Praise Thank the Lord. You, Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Well, I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready for the days of birth. I'm keeping my record right. I'm watching oh, at night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Trusting fully, trusting in my Savior's love, doing what I can for heaven's holy dove. Yes, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gate of pearl. Oh, my record bright. Yes, day and night, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm trusting in the riches of His saving grace. Any earthly trial I His love can trace. Sure that up in heaven I shall find a place. Well, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. Oh, my record pride. Yes, day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. If it were not true, I would have told you so. Now just a little while to linger here below. Well, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. Oh, my record bright. Yes, day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm laying up my treasures in that hole above. I'm trusting fully, trusting in my Savior's love. Doing what I can for heaven's holy dove. Well, I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm getting ready to leave this world. World of sorrow, I'm getting ready for the gates of pearl. Oh, my record right. I'm watching all day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. And to prepare mansion, Jesus said, I'll go. If it were not true, I would have told you so. Just a little while to linger here below. I'm getting ready to leave this world. I'm 
getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the face of pearl while keeping my right. Oh, I'm watching as day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. Oh, I'm getting ready to leave this world of sorrow. I'm getting ready for the face of pearl. Oh, my record right. I'm watching yes, day and night. I'm getting ready to leave this world. So what thing therefore you know not today? When the Lord shall call you so waiting, you're fighting and striving for the right. He shall wear a robe and crown. Well, I'm going to wear a crown. Oh, yes, yeah. I'm going to wear a crown. When the trumpet sounds, when the trumpet sounds, I'm going to wear a crown. I'm going to wear a crown. Just as soon as my feet strikes, I am going to lay down the heavy burden. Going to put on the robe and glory. Going to shout and tell the glad story. Going to sit down beside King Jesus. Going to tell him how I made it. Over, gonna put on the robe in glory, gonna shout and tell the glad story. We shall wear a robe and cry. Well, give him a good hand clap of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you, children. Children's church and such a Sarah. God bless you. Amen. Y'all have a great, great service. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I know. I, I, Y'all hang on just a minute. <laughs> no, oh, please don't. <laughs> oh, you got it? No. <laughs> oh, that's, that's all right. Go ahead. <laughs> that's a, Y'all are dismissed. Y'all are dismissed. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. Amen. Well, this is church. May seem a little bit of confusion right now, but it's really not. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord and to uh, and to be flexible. We want God to be in control. Can I hear good amen? And as long as God is in control, then that's all, that's all that matters. I know that uh, you may be concerned as far as our time may be slipping away, but uh, I can preach short, believe it or not. Well, we want to do, we want to do one more thing. I, I just really feel, uh, I feel this morning that it's been, it's been brought to my attention that uh, God has spoken and as God has spoken, I want to be sensitive to the Holy Spirit this morning yes, as well. And uh, I, hope, I hope my brother don't mind this. John, you've been appointed and anointed to be anointed this morning. Amen. Would you mind coming and let us pray, pray for you this morning? And John's coming to stand. Would you like to, like to join us, guys, as well? And uh, we're going to pray for, for John this morning. We're glad to have him. And uh, we're going to anoint and pray for him this morning. And uh, you, Brother Rose, I'll get you to do the anointing honors, if you would, to him. And we're going to pray for John. For some of you that, that may not know, he is uh, going to be looking at heart surgery on the 17th, looking at four bypasses. And uh, whatever they may see that is in there, they're going to deal with it and take care of it. So we believe everything's going to be all right. Amen. So uh, let's believe the Lord for my brother. Would you like to stand in reference to the Lord? If you can, if you can, let's believe God. Lord, you're the almighty God. You're the almighty God. We lift our hearts. Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up. Oh, no. 
shall renew their strength. Oh Lord, give him strength. They shall oh, mount up with wings as he goes. Well, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Teach me, Lord. This morning, say praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you this morning so much. Thank you, Brother Keith, Sister Laura, Sister Diane. Thank you, Sister Laverne. Rick, Brother Keith, Brother Evans. Thank you guys so very much. And again, thank you, choir. You've done a great, great, great job this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. I, I know that our service has been totally different. You know it ain't good when you get a bunch of preachers together. That's what you never know what to expect. Amen. But uh, thank you for for your prayers for for my brother, and I know he appreciates it as well. We believe in God for a good, 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 good result that's going to happen on his behalf. We're believing that. Amen. As we shared with you before, this is Veterans Day. Uh, if you paid any attention to the uh, to the screens, you couldn't help but notice that this is Veterans Day that we're honoring here, even though that it's going to be later on in the week. So in our message this morning and in our response, that's what we're honoring this morning. We're honoring you, our veterans. But before we're going to, we're fixing to have a video in just a moment. 
But before we have this video come up, I'm going to ask that all of our veterans, if you've served in the military in any capacity whatsoever, would you please stand this morning? All of our veterans that have served in the military in any capacity. Amen. Look around, guys. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. We salute you guys. God bless you so very much. You may be seated. If you would, please, we want to honor you today. And also, we're going to start it off with this video. If uh, Sister Monica bring that up. And from the depths of my heart, I know on behalf of each one of you as well, a hearty thank you. And there's not enough deserving recognition given to you for what you do and your comrades as well. And for many that have gone on 
we know gone on to be in their reward. But thank you so much for what you've done for us. I, I want to give you, I really felt this given to me. So what I give to you this morning, I hope it'll be a blessing to you. But I felt God speak this to my heart. I'm going to uh, minister to you on a, on a particular thought this morning that might seem a little bit different, but uh, it really is a thought that God birthed in my heart. And this is the thought that I'm going to share with you is when diversity becomes one. When diversity becomes one. And I want to ask you if you don't mind, I, I know that you think that you're probably like jumping jacks, you're being up and down. You have been up and down a lot this morning. But I only want to read two verses of Scripture this morning and verse, versions of those two verses in, in the Psalms of 133 and uh, also 33. But would you stand in recognition to the Word this morning if you can, only if you can. But I want to read this to you. Psalms 133 and in 1 it says, How good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity. Can I hear a good amen? amen? Likewise, Psalms 33 and 12. Notice what the psalmist says. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Can I hear another good amen? amen? I want to pray. Father God, thank you this morning for your love. Thank you for your presence. We know that is real in this service this morning that we've already felt, we've already witnessed. Now let the anointing rest up over this, your vessel, in the ministry of your word, each one in the sound of a voice, even those by the way of live stream as well, Lord. We yield to you, Lord, and we thank you for this great privilege by the cover in and through the covering of your precious blood that makes it all possible in its protection. And all of God's children said, praise the Lord. God bless you. You may be seated. Thank you so much for standing, referring the Lord this morning for the reading of His Word. Veterans Day. We know that Veterans Day is coming up in this week, but we're honoring it today because the day is the day we're having services. Veterans Day. Veteran, really, the name veteran really means one of long experience, one that has experience and of a long time. A veteran that has been there is not something just overnight that took place. It took a timing element for it to happen. Then we look at the name veterans, plural. We look at the name veterans, that means different yet one. I think that you can relate to me, guys, because the relation is this. Whenever you were called into the, into the military or whether you were drafted into the military, ever which way it was, you become a part of a force that was there of men, young men from all backgrounds. Maybe it wasn't so much as women back then, but they have become involved as well. No matter what, there was diversity that was there. But I want to remind you this morning and let you know, as you are aware, that in your diversity, you became one when you was on that battlefield. And you were supported and you helped and bes beside the one that you had fought with or served with. A true American veteran, one that loves America, is one that is different, yet they are one in care and in devotion and in sacrifice for their country and their nation. For many have died in their service. That's why you and I are here this morning. Please think about it. Don't take it for granted. The only reason we have freedom today is because of our veterans and because of all of those that have given their lives in the past. Let's listen to this familiar song that you're aware of, if you would please, at this time. <clears throat> it's all right, Sister Monica. Nothing like electronics. No. 
may not have been able to make a map, but I, there, the reason why I wanted her to do that one, it's not just to the Marines, but it is to all that were in military action. And great words, great words in that song. So God bless you again. Thank you, veterans, for your service and the time you served from every, every background and uh, from whatever purpose of life that was there. We know that what you came in, you came to protect and to defend this nation. So God bless you veterans and thank you for the giving of yourself because you gave of yourselves this morning. First of all, I want to remind you, blessed is a nation whose God is the Lord in Psalms 33 and 12. You was taught this morning, you as a, a Veterans, you was, you was taught, you was trained to fight and to stand as one, even though there were diversities of backgrounds, of matter, no matter where you were, or no matter where you ended up, or whatever battlefield you were on. But may I remind you as well this morning, we as a church must be one as well. And because we as a church must be one as well, there are veterans in the household of faith. Many, many, and most all of us this morning are veterans that are in this household of faith. Maybe not in the military form that we were talking about as far as fighting and defending our nation, but certainly in the military form as far as serving our God and on the behalf of being able to have the freedom that we have today which was because we are here this morning as veterans of the church. I ran across it was kind of interesting because after D-Day and in World War II, at the end of World War II, there was someone that made this statement to General Eisenhower. They had said, it's great how that you were able to coordinate all the teams of that great enterprise. General Eisenhower, he quickly corrected them. He made this statement. He said, not teams, plural. He said, but team, singular. They were one. I want you to know this morning, we are one in Christ. And because we're one in Christ, we've had an example that has been betrayed of us, of all of those men that stood this morning, that have been the example. When we look into the page of history this morning, you notice it's woven into the soul of America and into the very foundation of our nation, America, this morning. There's been five important ingredients that has been woven into America. Though you may not see a whole lot of it on the exterior, this is the way that it was established. Number one was God. Number two, Christ. Number three, the Bible. Number four, prayer. And number five, the church. Thank God for all of them. 
that makes it possible that we can be what we are today. Yes, uh, there was diversity, but that diversity become one. All of these um, important ingredients um, that are found on the pages um, of our American history how did it happen? It's because you as veterans and though in the past that are already reaping their reward is simply because they stood as one. You and I, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we must stand as one. I know there are diversities. I know there are different denominations. I know there are different backgrounds. But there's only one way that brings us to unity that we become one. That's the blood of the Lord Jesus Jesus Christ, no matter what may be preached, no matter what be taught, no matter what may be exemplified, there's only one thing that brings together as one, and that's the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for the blood. Can I hear a good amen? <clears throat> Sackley this morning, I want to bring your attention. Sackley, how good, it tells us in Psalm 133 and 1, how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together. And likewise, in Psalms 133 and 3, it says, And for there the Lord bestows His blessings, and even life forevermore. Where? Where they dwell together, and they become as one. No church is strong when it fails to have unity. So church, any time you feel that there may be some division, any time you may feel that there may be some disruption or something that may be at a fault area, I want to remind you, fall to your knees, call upon the Lord, because the only way that a church can stand and be one is for them to stand in the power of the blood of Jesus, and we stand unified. Yes, there's adversity. Yes, among us. There's different backgrounds that are here in this building this morning but I want you to know as believers as the recognition of Veterans Day for our veterans that are here this morning that is forthcoming let us stand and let us be one in the faith of the Lord Jesus Christ it is only in Him that we can live move and have our being our nation our our nation as a whole is lying in the clutches of iffies. And you know what I'm talking about. Because of so much that is happening, so much that has taken place. But I want you to know this morning, and wanted to remind you, I felt stirred of the Lord to tell you, we as a church must be veterans when it comes to Pentecost. Because the Spirit fell, as the Spirit fell on them at Pentecost, it only fell whenever they were in one accord. That's what the Scripture tells us there in the book of Acts. Why don't we have, why do we have, why don't we have that one accord now? We need prayer back in school instead of bullets flying everywhere. Instead of all of the divisions and the chaos and the wrong teachings that are taking place, we need to have prayer back in school. And I know that it is a foreign thing, and I know that I'm talking to a people that believes in that, but I want to remind you where we are and where we need to be this morning in the understanding. We must get back to the star space banner. We must get back to the maze and grace even in our classrooms and we need it in our government as far and as distant as it is. Hallelujah. 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 We need to teach our kids this morning to stand to their feet in respect for the flag of the United States of America. Instead of allowing and saying, because we're American, we're free, we can have the burning and the disrespect to our flag. I say this morning, we ought to be thankful for that flag because you, the men that stood, you represented that flag of the United States of America this morning. And I get just a little bit disturbed. I get just a little bit stirred whenever I see these people like Pepper Nick, Depper Nick, or whatever his name was, that started all this stuff whenever he got on a knee because the Star Spangled Banner was being played. I'm saying if it was not for you guys, if it was not for America standing as one, we would not be in this room this morning, and I would not be able to preach this gospel freely and open to you as I do. Thanks be unto you and God 
God that made us stand as one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You as a military, as military veterans, you were taught and you were trained to fight and to stand as one. May I say and remind you this morning, we as a church of the Lord Jesus Christ, we must stand as one. Too many divisions, too many fractions, there are too many oddities that are coming in the midst of the church. I'm talking about the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. We must stand as one. Don't lose the foundation that you was founded and built upon and it was on none other than the blood of Jesus Christ through the blood of Jesus Christ our Lord and our Savior. By none other foundation, by none other means is the church, the real church, unless it is founded upon the blood of Jesus Christ Himself. Whenever we understand and we know that whenever we are going to be facing the battles and, and we know that the battles are real that are out there, when you veterans in the military, when you went to battle, you was not given guns with blanks in them. Are you with me now? When you went on the battlefield, you were given ammunition. You were given artillery that definitely had the force whenever you utilized what was given to you. May I say to you this morning, there are many that are in the church today. There are many that are so-called per se serving God, but they are playing church. They're doing it with blanks within their spirit, within their heart. And what we need, we need real hearts with the real blood of the Jesus Christ of the Lord Jesus that has made it possible this morning that we don't have to play act and to go through motions and to go through realms that we think we've been to church we need to know we've been to church and that Christ has been lifted up He's been glorified above all among all because He is the one that makes it worth it. He is the one that went to the battle fought the battle and came back victoriously because the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ typifies what it's all about. Can I hear another good amen? amen. Too many have lost it in their hearts and they've lost it in their stand. You know what? The Word has no power in many of their lives. Prayer has no power in many of their lives. Worship has no power in many of their lives. Commitment to God has no power in the many of their lives. Dedication to the church has no power in many of their lives. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Service to the church has no power in many of their lives. Commitment to the church has no power in many of their lives. Giving no longer has any power in their lives. Oh, they give. And there's a lot of people that do give. But because they give out of obligation and they do not give out of what they have and God has blessed them with, that is why, hear me, they see no return in their lives. I'm not talking about get rich quick, name it and claim it. I am talking about yes, God will bless you faithfully. You give monetary. You give financially. God will return and bless you. But you don't realize sometimes, many times, it's not preached in that form. But whenever you do give monetarily, you give of your means. Uh, that is certainly when that God will bless you spiritually. He'll give your spiritual man that refreshing that is needed to, to be able to lift you up uh, in the times that you're down uh, because the power of God uh, makes it possible. There's a scripture in the book of Luke. I know I quote it to you, but I want to read it to you this morning. What he says, Luke 6 and 38, Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure pressed down, shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosoms. But now listen, I want you to note this last statement in that verse number 38. For with the measure that ye met or that you gave with all, everything that was given with it, it shall be given or measured back to you again. Did you hear what I said? Oh, that's worth saying again. For with the measure, measure that you met with all, it shall be measured to you 
again. Thanks be unto God. We have the privilege and the opportunity that we give unto the Lord. But a lot of people are giving on quicksanded ground. Because it's not grounded upon the foundation of the hard, solid, foundational rock of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm saying a church. I'm talking about a church. I'm not talking about a nominal name, but I'm talking about a church. I believe this church is built upon what I'm fixing to say to you. When it is built upon the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, and His name is exalted, His name is lifted up, and we know that it's through the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ that is typified. That's why we're here. That's why we serve. Thank you veterans that made it possible. And thank you veterans of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ that made it all possible. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you church. God bless you. Thank God for I know I don't have to talk this loud. I just kind of got into it this morning. Amen. Thank God for the veterans in his military in their military might and their, and their dedication. And, and thank God for you this morning. And yes, uh, thank God for you veterans uh, of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, because veterans uh, had to dedicate themselves. If you don't dedicate yourself, you're not going to come to church. You're not going to pray. You're not going to seek His Word. It takes dedication in order to make it happen. It's through that that God's veterans must dedicate themselves. And perhaps even in an hour and a day we're in, and the message needs to be broadcasted. And unfortunately, it is not a rededication of veterans of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, I told you I could preach fast. That don't mean I'm quitting, no. In Ephesians in chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, Paul gives us some, some good words here that I want to close out with this morning. Everybody still with me now? Paul says this. This is in our Sunday school lesson. Look into this. Verse number 1 in chapter 4. Therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you, that you walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you are called, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another, and you do it in everybody say love, love. endeavoring to keep the everybody say unity, unity of the spirit in the bond of peace, love and unity. Now look what he says in verse number four: There is one body. And one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Verse 6 And one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. Oh, hallelujah. That's the mouthful right there. As a veteran, you utilize your connection in training as a soldier of the nation. To be the example and to stand when everything else seemed to fall apart, you kept standing. Paul gives here, and may we, as I can speak to you, maybe on this manner, to take up the mantle, so to speak, of the power of the Lord Jesus Christ and be in Christ this morning. Veterans of the cross, veterans of the cross, listen to me. We must be in Christ through the power of His blood. I ran across something that was very interesting. There was a, a French statement, a statesman that had made a statement about what he felt. He said, if I could only see in America what has made her so great, what has made her so fabulous, this was back in the early 1800s. But early in the 1800s, he had studied the workings of democracy in the early part of the 19th century. In order to understand America's success, here's what this French statesman wrote. It is worth restating to you today. Here's what he said, and I quote, I sought for the greatness 
and genius of America in her commodious harbors and her ample rivers. And it was not there. I sought for the greatness and genius of America in her fertile fields and boundless forest. And it was not there. I sought for the greatness and the genius of America in her public school system and her institution of learning. And it was not there. I sought for the greatness and the genius of America in her democratic congress and her matchless constitution. And it was not there. Listen to what he said. Not until I went into the churches of America and I heard her pulpits flame with righteousness did I understand the secret of her genius and power in quote. America will continually, continually degrade and be less and to cease as a nation built unto God if she don't change in the direction that she is going now. God, let our pulpits become a flame. Let righteousness be proclaimed. Because that's the difference of where we are and how we're going to stand in the tomorrows. Do you believe that, church? I believe that without our reservations. Because our country can only be strong, can only be strong if it gets back to one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice uh, for all. Paul said it this way. May I give you these seven things? Seven's the perfected number of God. You know that. Paul says this. One body. One spirit. One hope. One faith. One baptism. And one God. Body, spirit, hope, Lord, Faith, baptism, God. We've got to have it. And we've got to have that oneness that'll make the total difference within our spiritual lives and our spiritual walk. I want to close this morning. And I want to close, and you know that I'm wanting to close because I want to pray for our nation. And thank God for you our veterans. That's why I say, God bless you veterans. We appreciate you. We love you. Amen. And God bless you, the veterans of the cross of the Lord Jesus Christ. That is the difference that is made. It is 25 minutes till 12. Now, don't that really bless you? Sometimes you think a preacher's not mindful of time. <clears throat> Throw the clock out, I guess, huh? <clears throat> but I want us to close this morning with a closing prayer. If there, it always is, and it always will be as long as we as a nation. But I like just first to join together and stand around here. The front. I like for us to have a closing prayer and pray for America, our nation, this morning before we leave this morning and thank God through that prayer for our, our veterans uh, that has made it all possible. Does that make sense? Did you get any sense out of this? Diversity becomes one. Stand with us, would you please? Go ahead, go ahead and just, just slip out of seat and just come. It, it's just kind of better when, you're, when we're around front and uh, we kind of get shoulder to shoulder and so forth. Um, and if you can't, I understand if you can't. Uh, but uh, I want us to have a closing prayer. I want us to have a closing prayer for, for our nation this morning and for our thankfulness uh, for our veterans this morning. God is so good to us. He's the only one that's made it possible that we can be who and when and where we are for His care, His love, and His compassion. And we come to make the statement. You know what our statement is? God, in you we trust. It is in you we want this nation to become strong. 
and be strong again upon your foundation. Let's pray it. Lift your hearts and your voices. Lord Jesus, we lift our hearts. We lift our voices. Because you're the Almighty God. We pray for this nation this morning, Lord. We pray your hand upon it. Uh, one Lord that has certainly faltered and strayed and fathers become distant from the foundation that it was built upon. There's so much controversy that is going on, Lord. We know there are so many, Father, that are that are out there, that are on the outside, Lord. They're not even from morals anymore, oh God. That there'll be a conviction that will stir and to move upon individuals, upon people of America, God. Let them get a conviction to know what is needed for our nation to stand. And because we become vulnerable, Lord, all of these nations, Lord, that are wanting to destroy us, God, all of these nations that are wanting America to come down, Lord, when we continue to move in what we're going in the direction, Lord, we're going to become vulnerable. Oh, God, bless us as a nation one more time. Oh, come within our midst one more time, God. Stir with a conviction within our leaders and in our leadership, Lord, to know they have to put their confidence in the only one and true God that is in and through you, the Lord Jesus Christ, and your precious blood that makes it all possible, Lord. Oh, Father God, we pray for your mercies upon this nation. America needs you this morning, Lord. God, we know that the direction she seems to be wayward in. But God, we know that you said if we would fall on our faces, if we would call upon you, Lord God. We know that you said you would hear from heaven. And you said you would heal our land, oh God. Lord, we pray that according to that scripture, God, let there be a healing. Let there be a healing come forth in our land. A moral healing that needs to come place in our land. Such friction, such such bitterness and, and such battling and such fighting uh, that is going on, such divisions uh, that has taken place. God, stir one more time for eviction, a conviction of oneness, Lord, of oneness uh, in our nation as we stand together. Together we stand, Lord, that you'd place your hand up over the United States of America. Oh, we pray it, O oh God, and to stir within line, Lord, to honor the Constitution upon which it was built upon, upon the grounds and the principles, Lord, of men. We believe that you gave the leading of your spirit that it was given, Lord, and we are founded upon. And again, we pray, Lord, thank you for our many, oh, our millions of veterans, God. They have given their lives, God. There are many, they're already reaping their rewards, God. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for them, Lord. Lord, that they were willing to give of themselves, God. That they actually died. They sacrificed their blood. Their blood, Lord, that we might have the liberty and the privilege we have this morning to stand together in this church. And, and Lord, for the veterans that are still living and that are alive. And, and these veterans, Lord, maybe some that's viewing by the way of live stream, but our veterans also that are here in this sanctuary, God. Oh, let your blessings rest up over them. Let them feel a, com a, com a deposit of your spirit, God. Lord, that you're pleased. And, and Lord, that you'll protect and you'll be with them, Lord. To give them your favor and your comfort and that only, only you can give them. And Lord, we thank you this morning because you're the one that makes it possible. Bless now, Lord, the veterans of the cross. Oh, God, it's your Holy Spirit. We smile upon each one, Lord, because we know it was your blood, your precious blood on that cross cross of Calvary and for the sacrifice for the bitter beatings and the anguish and the agony that you went through Lord even prior to the cross and then while you were hanging on that cross thank you this morning Lord thank you for the precious precious blood and, and thank you for thank you for this nation thank you for these veterans God thank you for each one Lord and Father we thank you for the veterans of the cross thank you thank you thank you Lord we bless you and we praise you because you're worthy. You're worthy of all praise and glory. In Jesus, in Jesus, your wonderful name. In your wonderful, your wonderful name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can do it this morning, thank God for this great response. Slip a hand toward heaven and let's thank him for him. Even in advance, he's going to honor our prayers and he's going to be our presence this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And that made it all possible. It in you we live and move and have our being. We bless you, we bless you, we bless you. 
Hallelujah. 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 We love you. We love you, Lord. Now bless your children as we leave this room, but not your presence. God, your protection upon with your blood covering, blood protection, Lord, from this virus and this junk that's going on around. Lord, we pray you give them your protection, your care. And Lord, we know you're the one. You're the only one that can make it possible in health and in strength, God. We can meet each one. Thank you for this church, Lord, this awesome church. Thank you for these these children. We belong to you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you and we give you praise as we dismiss in the power of your name. In your name, Jesus. And all of God's children, believe it together, said? Amen, amen. amen.